when human f trial was released not a lot of people knew what was gonna happen to Daft Punk or they had released their live album or their live performance in in 2007 which won a few Grammys I believe or it was in 2007 and a live DVD and after that we got uh, Tron Legacy that was a soundtrack album which was alright but it wasn't really for Daft Punk so yeah we had to wait eight years for a new record by this duo and yeah today I have the new or the new it is already four, year, four years old 2013 but the most recent album by this EDM duo and it is Random Access Memory from Daft Punk this album is requested by Black Queen and I have listened to the the first three Daft Punk albums and if you want to know my opinion about those then check those re reviews out yeah this this is like I said the most recent release by the duo and yeah it is being it has been selling very well music videos are uh, really high views on YouTube so this is almost really doing really good for Daft Punk yeah um, there were some singles released of this of this album that were really really successful and yeah the album is really really consistent from I've just listened to it and it is I, I will say the most accessible album for Daft Punk and I'm not sure if if the duo was going for that if they wanted to make a accessible EDM album but this album isn't really a Daft Punk I would say because their their earlier albums are more house and more dance rock etc and this album is really alternative and really um, jazz smooth it it is more of a rock album I would say so that is probably why it it appeals to me so much and there is no actual genre labeled to random access so I would say that this album is just various, it is a bit of uh, EDM, it is a bit electronic, it is a bit alternative rock, it is a bit of everything. And I think it really works out for the band. Although I'm not the yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of some tracks, although some people may love these kind of tracks. But a track that was really special to me was the third track which was Giorgio by Morador, Mor Morador, I think this is a really special track by the band uh, talking about or a man talking in the beginning about uh, his music career that he wants to make music and that uh, he is teaching it a really old man that wants to uh, sample music from the 50s and knew that an EDM sound was going to be uh, famous or it was going to be uh, revolutionary revolutionizing and he said that in the track uh, yeah the beats the the length it is nine minutes in length and it is by that the longest song of the record and I believe the longest song of all time by Daft Punk but I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong but Giorgio by, Mar by Morador is especially really just um, a unique track to say the least listen to it for yourself uh, one track that really caught my ear was Instant Crush and Instant Crush is um, it is more bass driven, it is more on the guitar and this this is, a, this is actually featuring Jul uh, Julian Casablancas from if you don't know Julian he is from the Strokes and I, I am a Strokes fan so that is always a good thing um, yeah I, I like the Strokes if you want me to do albums by them as well then let me know but Instant Crush was just just an instant love for me I, I really love this track really love the the samples in this track really love the guitar playing really love the bass the bass really thick on this track uh, just a really catchy tune uh, speaking of catchy although I'm not the biggest fan of the two biggest hits of this record and arguably the biggest hits of Daft Punk's career Lose Yourself to Dance yeah although I like the vocals from Farrell Fer Will Williams and his falsetto I'm not the biggest fan of just how uh, I wouldn't say generic but the song is just a bit uh, too commercial it, it was I believe on the top 40 and whatever you know what do I care right 
But yeah, the song, although it is good, it is well produced. Uh, the, pr the production is really tight, it is really thick on there. But Lose Yourself to Dance is a good track. But for me, it is a bit too predictable, you know, uh, like top 40 shit. So it is not bad. It, it is not top 40 horrible, but it was on the top 40, so go figure. It, it, it blends in well together with the top 40, but it isn't top 40 quality, if you know what I mean. Uh, then we get one of my favorite tracks, which is Touch. And Touch is very, just a very touching uh, track, no pun intended. Uh, Paul Williams sings your beautiful on, who is a guest musician. I'm not sure what, what he is from, what he is doing. I can click on the name, but he's just a songwriter, Wikipedia says. But his vocals are just uh, one of his best, one of his best on, uh, on the record. Uh, just really emotional vocals by Paul Williams. I really love the, the atmosphere, the, the melancholic uh, feel that Touch has. Touch is a great track, a great way to close out side one. I believe it is from side, ah, no. The, the, the album doesn't have a side. I, I didn't say anything, but Touch is a very, uh, very special track for me. Uh, I, yeah, one of my favorites, I really love this track. Uh, speaking of loving tracks, although I don't love this song, I, I've heard it numerous times, but... Um, yeah, this is by far, I believe, the most popular Daft Punk song ever. Uh, it is only four years old, but it is, like, critical acclaimed. It is universal acclaimed as one of the best songs of the decade. And it is Get Lucky, and although I like Get Lucky, I like the the bass intro by this, the bass opening, I like the guitarist throughout. Not the biggest fan of the falsetto of Pharrell Williams, but there was one other uh, one other guy that was singing on there, and I really loved his singing style. Although I like Pharrell Williams' singing style as well, it is a bit too much. And yeah, I have to say this, although I like Get Lucky, it is tremendously overrated. Do with that which, what you will. I still like the track, don't get me wrong. Overrated doesn't mean that I don't like it, but but still, get lucky, tremendously overrated, but still a good track. Yeah, then, then we got uh, another track with Todd Edwards. Uh, and I believe Todd Edwards was on the... Um, he was on the Discovery cha uh, album, uh, Discovery Channel, sure. On the Discovery record as well. And I really love his focus on air. Fragments of Time is a great uh, tune that reminds me a bit of the Discovery record. Although this album isn't Discovery and we're never gonna get a Discovery again. Oh, that album is just uh, beautiful, man. One word to describe the record, beautiful. But, um, but Random Access Memory is still a good record. And Todd Edwards surely shines on uh, his track that he has. And he also did it on Discovery and he also shined on that, but there were so many highlights on that record. Uh, Doing It Right is actually one of my favorites as well. Uh, just the repeating refrain that is saying, doing it, doing it right, doing it right. Over and over again by uh, singing, um, sung by Panda Bear, best name ever. But yeah, his vocals are really cool. Um, it is robotic, it is... Um, it is done in a cool way, so uh, doing it right is, yeah, uh, just a great track. The The song is only four minutes long, so it is uh, pretty accessible. The song is really electronic, but yeah, actually one of my favorites. Uh, Contact is the last song of this record, and it is a bit similar to Touch. It is really emotional. It is. Uh, it has more samples on it. I believe uh, the only song that uses samples, but I'm not sure. But context, yeah, it's just talking about maybe a um, maybe someone who is outer space and wants to uh, get contact, but he doesn't have the contact because he's outer space and he doesn't have connection, etc. But context is a great track. Uh, it is the closer of the album, and it is unfortunate because I really enjoyed the record. It is, it really feels like a '60s, uh, '70s album. Yeah, in the rock jazz department, it really feels like that. It, it really was relaxing to listen to. Uh, the robotic voice, voice is perfectly blending with the accessible music on there. Really great production on this record. Contact, actually one of my favorite Dead Punk songs ever. A uh, great closure of the album, together with uh, Doing It Right. And some other songs that I really love were uh, Georgia by Mordor, uh, Touch, uh, and Fragments of Time. Great tracks. 
Yeah, uh, this was a really great record. I highly recommend it if you haven't listened to the most recent Daft Punk record. I haven't, but I but I have now, I believe. Or, I mean, I've just listened to it. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed it. My rating for this record is a 8.6. Really enjoyed it. It is not, yeah. L like I said, they're never going to make the second record again, Discovery. That's, if you haven't listened to that record, Wow, just what are you doing with your life? Check it out. It, it is amazing. Um, but you can also listen to this one, uh, Random Access Memories. I highly recommend it as well. But um, I would say first listen to Discovery and then to Random Access Memory. I would actually say that this is the second best Death Punk album after Discovery, of course. Yeah, um, th this feels like a really complete album. Yeah, the, the the debut album wasn't was really repetitive for me, and uh, the third record was uh, felt a bit short of its predecessor. So this is actually the second best album by Daft Punk. It is really consistent. It is really tight. The production is really crisp. Yeah, and it actually sounds like this album came out in the 60s or 70s. So that is a big compliment. A classic record released in 2013. So. Yeah, that, that is a big compliment uh, for the duo. So, Daft Punk, good job. Uh, make more music like this because it was a great record. I hope they they can uh, build, uh, build up this success and make another record like this because they only have... They, they only have four records, but I hope they make more like Discovery and this album, Random Access Memory. It was really great, it was really consistent. Check it out if you haven't already. If you have only listened to Get Lucky, uh, believe me, it, it is one of the worst tracks on this record. Still, it, it is still a good song, don't get me wrong, but it is just so overrated. It is just so overplayed. Lose Yourself to Dance, same thing. Great tracks, but listen to the other records. Oh, they're so, they're so much better. I, I'm just saying. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the most recent Daft Punk record. Let me know if you haven't listened to it, if you have listened to it already. Let me know if you are a fan of Daft Punk. Yeah, and... Um, uh, Random Access Memory, it is a pretty good album, check it out and enjoy.